my uh, object objective will be displayed uh, all the time uh, and uh, <coughs> on the on the interface and if you unclick it's not showing anymore okay and this button from here display uh, to toggle this icons on or hide these icons okay from here you can choose uh, decrease message box show and max maximize TC level so you can just click and you cre can increase or decrease okay here is my uh, <coughs> my uh, clock um, my digital clock okay so uh, you see uh, when you start you will have all the time displayed the uh, nautical time so the time uh, in this uh, area where you are exactly I can uh, click here and I if I click is the GMT time displayed you see click I have it it's uh, 3 hours and 21 minutes afternoon nautical I click it's 2 hours and 21 minutes GMT okay usually I advise you to play with the uh, nautical time displayed okay next one next one is enable TC1 on uh, any message box okay so uh, what is uh, this is doing uh, if I click okay uh, each time when I will have a new message here you see on the message box and I am running for example at uh, TC32 or TC4 uh, uh, 1024 each time when a message will uh, will be right at here or will be displayed here my TC drop uh, automatic uh, to the TC1 okay I, I I play all the time with TC1 on any message box me personal okay next one is enable TC on message box message uh, disable or enable TC one on radio message box uh, is this one from here here is uh, enable TC one on new radio contact here is the pause the game you see on pause the game here is time compression uh, you can use here to increase the time compression or you can decrease the time compression uh, oh from here excuse me and so on here is the travel mode what is this travel mode doing for example <coughs> uh, if you are uh, in a friendly area and you want to run at higher TC and your TC will will drop I time to time because uh, you spot a new contact and something like that and you do you don't want uh, your TC is, is dropping so often to the TC1 or to, to the TC that you choose it to, to drop okay so you if you press travel mode you can uh, run your uh, the TC your TC uh, will not drop anymore okay <coughs> I'm I'm uh, playing with the travel mode wh when I uh, I'm in the friendly area only okay perfect from here uh, this is the maximum uh, radio contact range so is the range that uh, you can uh, this one I I'm not sure anymore. Uh, I am not sure what is doing exactly. Decrease max. I I must to ask TDV for that. I I don't want to give you wrong information about this one. Okay. This one from here. Exit station. So if I click, you see I'm uh, exit station in external camera. You see I'm external camera. Go to submarine and I go back here. So I switch my camera from uh, one position to other from here. Okay let's go here navigation map so I told you we can uh, display all this by buttons by uh, or by keyboard okay so navigation map if I click I going to the navigation map I unclick I'm going back okay so now we will speak about the navigation map because we are here what we have here <coughs> this one is uh, configure navigation map feature okay so you can choose here uh, to have the parallel course boot on intercept course boot on uh, and all the things like this you see torpedo solution line you can uh, have uh, displayed uh, on your uh, map or uh, not this uh, feature from here okay if I click for example torpedo solution line you see now this is my torpedo solution line. If I'm going here and I unclick this, uh, torpedo solution line, okay, close. Now 
I don't have displayed so you can test yourself what is doing more okay the next one next one on the navigation map toggle attack disk visibility this is the attack disk you can uh, use in the game when you plot uh, your uh, movement and things like this okay you can move your with your mouse this is the attack disk used uh, by the marine uh, submariners in the world war 2 uh, if you want to learn how to use this disk, uh, you have a PDF file uh, in uh, the dark right uh, documentation mode, and you can learn learn more from uh, there. Okay, w about the attack disk. Okay, this one is for uh, nomograph. If I click, you see I have displayed my nomograph. I don't click; it's going back. This one is uh, the the dark right uh, in, uh, interface. Have uh, uh, here a map you can drag from here from the right corner. You see, this is the map of Silent Hunter Five with uh, the ship um, uh, with the convoy uh, lines shipping chart is called. Okay, so for example, here you see here convoy route. So here I have convoy route. So this is very help uh, helpful. For example, if you are in the patrol zone and you can see where the convoys are the route for the convoys are in the game okay and this one from here you can choose between uh, colored and not colored you see now i choose not colored colored this one is for that this button okay <coughs> now <coughs> i'm going to the next next button here i have show nav map tdc deals so i click here those are the deals for the that I use for my torpedoes okay so here I can flood my tubes okay I can ch switch between tubes okay I can fire from here and uh, here I can choose my uh, speed or torpedo uh, uh, impact uh, salvo or single shooting okay oh, 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 the tube from here also here the torpedo depth okay and here uh, you can use uh, also to put the d data in the TDC manual input and you can uh, put your data manual if you want from here okay angle and bow the speed of the ship and something like that and you can close and shoot okay so this one this is uh, w from one from there okay so like this it's your uh, map see yeah I'm plotting the course uh, right click and delete Okay, so it's like this, okay? So now uh, we finish with the navigation map. I hope I didn't forget to show you something here. Okay. Next one is crew management, okay? So I click here. I have the crew here. I have the su subsystem so I can see w w w my uh, subsystem, uh, the floating level, the fuel level, and I s can switch between this okay so now the torpedo you see I can uh, have the torpedo I can put uh, auto loading or uh, manual loading I can s see my torpedoes here and the crew okay if you, you go here uh, left click you can uh, you can uh, uh, give promotion points to increase the uh, passive ability of the active abilities for the crew okay so this is the crew management okay now I'm going here this is the captain's log I click here you see here I have uh, radio contact reported I click here and the video told me contact reported enemy tax force blah 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 okay here I click this one when I want to send my status report to what I did until now in my patrol, okay? Moment, ich empfange einen Funkspruch. So I, I send this one. What is this one here? This one is uh, send contact reports. This one can be used only if you are surfaced and you are near a convoy and you want to send the, the uh, position of the convoy that is spotted to the video, okay? Neue Meldung empfangen. Now, this one here, publish log, I don't know what is this one is doing publish log I just click it but I don't know this one leaderboard so okay 
and, and that's all from here. Here you can see the uh, the patrol, current uh, patrol uh, reporter. Okay. Now I'm going uh, here. Toggle chart visibility. Okay, I, I click this one. What I have here? I have uh, four items. This one is oh, excuse me. This one. This one is uh, only if uh, you'll find on the direct interface is uh, the sound. Okay, it's very nice feature. So from here you can choose what you want to be displayed. For example, tanker. I'll choose here, and you see, you can send mass high to the TDC. You can uh, read about additional info. You see, here you have picture also. Nice feature. Here you can uh, put uh, when you do a recognition for your manual and things like this. I can close this one. So this one is the sound. Okay, the second one <coughs> is the uh, table of the speed. So this you can uh, uh, calculate the speed of one ship uh, in minutes. Okay. Here I have the speed chart in uh, hours okay so you can calculate the speed of the ship uh, in hours and here the third one I have the flags that are in the game so when you decide for example to that you want to s hit a ship okay hunt a ship and you are going here uh, see what uh, what is the flag for the ship and you see if you are going here see it's neutral so it's uh, Ireland uh, you don't uh, want to sink that ship okay so also uh, the they are from data where you are in campaign some of them were neutral and some of them after that become your ally and so on okay and i will go here toggle chart visibility back okay Schleifer. now this one i'll talk you about this one is automation okay this one is only in the direct interface this one is helping me to play scripts or to play uh, tutorials like uh, in the game to uh, to learn uh, fast and easy some uh, how to play the Silent Hunter 5 okay so uh, for for this one I have uh <coughs> for example uh, some important scripts I, I advise you to install the Trevally auto scripts and the Trevally uh, Harbor pilot so this Trevally Auto scripts, uh, he will put you a lot of scripts in your game. Okay, so like uh, search uh, when you are patrolling your area, real navigation. This is very useful if you are using the real navigation for the the right interface. Okay, so uh, here uh, information gathering, uh, miscellaneous evasion. You you will see. Uh, just install the Trevally Auto script version 0 0.5, and uh, a very important feature uh, the Harbor Pilot Trevally which is uh, very helpful uh, when you want to leave uh, to go from kill for example uh, in the first mission just play the script uh, kill uh, canal outbound play and uh, your script will be playing okay so i will show you how how i can play a script okay so let's say this one i want to stop by the machine halbe fahrt voraus by the machine gehen halbe fahrt voraus okay neuer kurs 1 so for example I, I want to, to play a script, okay? So uh, I go here. You see? And uh, I'm going here. Let's say I want to play this script uh, Harbor Pilot. Uh, 